We are going to be creating distributed file system, which is called the DFS. So the DFS namespace, namespace and replications involves creating a logical namespace for shared folders and setting up replications for data availability and redundancy. So which means that users in your company should be able to access their folders at any given time. And also when you have a redundancy and you're creating a DFS namespace available in two or multiple servers, which means the access to which this user should be able to access this folder will be more faster compared to just when accessing it from just a single server. So what you want to do first of all is to make sure you have two different servers where you are going to be installing uh, distributed for the distributed file system, the namespace and the replication. So first, what we want to do is the following. We need to go to our, this is, my, this is going to be my first server. So I'm going to go to the dashboard and here we're going to be adding roles and future. So because this server is also my secondary domain controller, which I'll be using for my final server. So let me just click next, next and next. So on my file server, you can see we have, we have already installed the file, um, the file and, and Iscozy services. So that's, that's the file server. So what I want to do right now is to install the DFS namespace. I'm going to add the futures and the DFS replication. So I'm going to select both and then click next. So you want to also do the same in the second server. So I'll be doing it in this first server. And then in the second server, I'll also be doing it there without you seeing it. So let's do it in this first server. And please, if you are following up with this training, try and do it also in the second server. Now you can see that the, install the installation just succeeded on this server and also on this other, the second server that I'll be using for both name space. So I want to actually just click, click close and then go to tools. And here in tools, we need to see our DFS management. So click on DFS management here. Yeah, so before we, we, we start creating our namespace and replication, we want to actually create a shared folder that we are going to be using for our namespace. So the same shared folder will be that, that we are going to be creating in this server should also be created in the second server. So what I want to do is the following. So right now I'm going to go to my file explorer and let me just go to this PC, just open my C drive. Let me create a new folder here and just call this shared. So I'll be creating, let me just try to share this folder, go to properties, go to sharing. So in your advanced sharing, let's just share this folder. And for this moment, I'll be giving everyone the full control. So you don't want to actually do this in a production environment. Definitely you want to give it to a specific, to authenticated users, probably just, just the change and not the full control or to a specific organizational unit. Okay, let's just click uh, to, a, to a specific security group. I'm sorry. So let's just click OK and then click Apply. Okay, and cl close. So what I'll be doing right now is I'll be creating a test file in this folder. Let me just create a test file here. Let me just call this Kelvin. So I'm going to be creating the test file in this folder. And if I go to my second my second server, here's my management server, and I go to my File Explorer. Let me just go to File Explorer here. And here you can see we have a shared folder. So in this shared folder, I didn't create any files. So I, don't, I just want to show you at the end of this training so that you can see that there is a replication between both server through our name space. So let's go back again to our server. And in, in this server, we're going to be configuring our name space. Let me just minimize this and then open uh dfs management so here you can see we have two options the namespace and the replication so right now we have the name the replication and we have the namespace so what we want to do is actually want to create a new namespace in our dfs management that's the first do our first file server so what we need to do right now is just to right click and then click and select new namespace so the new namespace i'm going to actually just click browse and then i'm going to select this server here so left of all you want to make sure it's the object is computer and then click ok then click next oh sorry i selected the wrong server i'm going to select the server dc02 and not the dc01 so let's just wait let me cancel that and that was the wrong server 
it's gonna be dc02 and check name okay and then we can click next you can see we can now click next so for the name for the name for the name i'm just going to enter just enter a simple name we're just going to call this a dfs for the distributed file system and click edit settings and for here i want to use the custom permission make sure that the everyone have the full control if you are working in a, in a domain environment or in a production environment definitely you will not want to select the everyone that has full control probably authenticated users and give them the changes or probably full control let me just click ok for that and then the dfs you can see we have the shared folder the dfs and the local part of that shared folder is called the dfs root dfs so now let me just select ok for that and then we want to click next and also you want to make sure that the domain base namespace is selected because all the device belongs to the same domain if not you are going to be selecting the standalone namespace and also you want to make sure that the enable windows server 2008 mode is selected so let's just click next and here you can see the namespace settings and then let's click create so here you can see it has been created so you have successfully completed the new namespace wizard so let's just click close so the next step now is to add the shell folder we created in our first um, file server and also the second file server so what i need to do right now is just to click and then select new folder <coughs> here i'm going to give this actually let me just call this shared because that is, that's the name we actually gave the folder we created you don't actually need to call it um call it shared so right now i want to also add both shared folder the fold the folder target so i'm going to actually just click browse and here you can see the first server is going to be the dc02 and here we have the shared the dfs you can actually just ignore that for right now for, for now and then click ok and you can see the location and then we can now click ok then we're going to be adding the second server which is the browse and the second server is going to be mng01 let's just click hit enter and here we go you can see we have the shared folder there as well so let's just select that also okay also and then click okay so right now you can see now we now have two shared um location and that the two shared folder has been added to this um new folder so right now i'm just going to say okay so it's going to ask me if i want to do a replication you see a replication group can be used to synchronize the folder surely i want to actually replicate both groups so let me just say yes to start the replication so you can see it's trying to actually sync and collect data from both servers so let's just wait or we can click more details and see the progress so let's just wait for this to complete then we can continue so here we go so the, the, this is actually the replication group name if for example users want to actually assess this um, shared folder they will be using this location this location name and they will be able to assess the shared folder and the replicated folder name is called shared so let's just click next and here you can see both targets and let's click next and now we need to select the primary windows server so for the primary server i'm going to be selecting the dc02 and i'm selecting mesh so right now you can see we have the full mesh or we have no topology but at this moment we don't have the option to actually select the hub or spoke why because i'm only using two servers at the moment assuming i'm using more than two three or four servers definitely i will have the option to actually select the hub and spoke so let's just select the full mesh and then click next so it says replicate continuously using the specified bandwidth well we can use the full bandwidth or we can actually select a different bandwidth for example if you don't have a fast location if your location the, the access to your location the network access is not that fast we can always select for example a 4 megabytes or 64 megabytes per second but i'm going to leave it for full and then click next now you can see what is going to be being replicated and just check if everything is well correct then we can now click create so you can see that goes very very fast and now we can now click close says replication will not begin until the, the configuration is picked up by the member of the replication group so this is going to take some time for the replication to take effect so let's just wait for some seconds and then you can see the replication the replication in effect but mind you we we actually i'm just click okay we what we did is you can see we created a shared folder here 
called Kelvin. But in my second domain controller, in my second server, let me go back here to the second server. And this is my second server. And here you can see we didn't create it. So I can actually do a refresh, but it's going to take some time for this to appear. So let's just wait and see how it goes. Now, so to monitor the replication, if I go to my to a Windows operating system, here's a Windows operating system, and I try to do the following. Let me just enter. You know, we're going to enter the DFS and then the shared folder. Here you can see we are now seeing the replication of Kelvin. Here you can see Kelvin. And then if I go back again to my server, let me go back again to my, this is my first server where I actually created the Kelvin folder um, file. And if I go back again to my management server, that's the second file server. Here we go, we're going to be seeing the changes we also made. You can see that the changes is now available there as well. So we cannot decide, for example, I can decide to create a new folder here and just call this test01. So when you create a folder here, it also takes some time for this folder to be replicated. So let's go, go back again to our the first. You can see we have, okay, we are seeing the folder directly there without any issue. So this is how you create a distributed file system namespace and replication in a Windows Server 2022. So you are doing this actually if, for example, you are working in a very big company, definitely you want your users to be able to access their files without any issue at any given time.